Prosecution and the police had already decided to pin this case on somebody. Oh, yeah. No matter who did it, they wanted to pin it on somebody. And when the idea came up that it was a satanic ritual murder, oh, my God, that just made them just, like, uh, shiver in their pants. I remember those days when everybody was talking about satanic worship and satanic ritual and, and all the all the uh, false convictions that came about because of that basically urban rumor that never even really existed. Right. Yeah. So, God, my heart goes out I, to you. It was I, just a perfect storm of bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. It's the worst thing to be accused of. It's like they saw anything and everything to push anyone and everyone's hate buttons against us to where people would just hate us so much that it didn't matter what the evidence was. They were programmed to convict. And there's still people that feel that way. Even after all the evidence that's come out, even after all the exonerating evidence, even after your foundation and Voices for Justice and everything the Dixie Chicks have done and Eddie Veter and all those guys, and there's still these nuts out there that still are basically stalking you, it appears. I, I do get death threats um, from people um, on the regular. I had someone post my address at one time and invited people to come out and shoot me. And, and, and yeah, it's scary. I don't know who. It could be anybody. I'm so sorry. Because they're, they're identityless, you know. They don't share their identity. It's always behind some fake uh, uh, Twitter or Facebook account or whatever so i copy it I, I create a screenshot of it i file it and then i have a file of these i've been collecting for years now and should ever anything ever happen to me it will be investigated but I, I try to live my life the best that i can no matter what people are saying no matter what people are doing i can only hold myself accountable to my ideals and standards and my moral judgment and so i do my best i try not to live in fear i try not to let those threats keep me, you know, locked in my home and scared to come out. Mm -hmm.